Welcome to this module, a part of the Cisco Collaboration Software as a Service Authorization for Cisco Partners. In this section of the module, you will learn about the WebEx for Developers platform, including API support, workflow integration, bots for WebEx, and WebEx Teams APIs for compliance. Plus, we provide additional resources for learning more. The WebEx Teams application was built as an open platform allowing developers to leverage the application and its capabilities in their own custom workflows and processes for an improved end-user experience. The components that comprise the platform include integrations and bots, collectively referred to as apps, some of which are listed on our public-facing website, which is called the WebEx App Hub. These apps are made possible because the WebEx Teams platform has REST APIs exposed for developer consumption. These APIs are readily available for use with Software Deployment Kits, or SDKs. This allows developers to get up and running quickly across different programming languages. Also, we provide embeddable widgets, which utilize the existing user interface components in the WebEx Teams platform and makes them embeddable into web pages. REST APIs are mostly standard among applications today. They allow for customization, and so that apps can be connected together. The result is that partners and customers can create custom workflows among the apps we and our customers use every day. Why is that important? It is important because we are extending, automating, and optimizing workflows, so we can be more efficient with our time. Let's look at a specific example. Let's look at a workflow associated with a data center, where one failure could result in a series of cascading failures. This may happen quickly. Here's the process of what could happen if there was an incident in a data center. As an incident unfolds, you need to identify what the issue could possibly be. For example, a website may be down. Then, you need to notify the proper stakeholders, which can be people from multiple areas throughout the company. These teams may have their own unique communication processes. First, data needs to be gathered which might reside in multiple, unrelated locations. Then, the team needs to discuss, decide, and execute on a resolution strategy. This process is often a manual one. Ideally, we want to cut down this time to resolution. However, often, there is little automation in this process. It is very manual, and therefore time-consuming. We can add automation to this workflow in multiple facets by using integrations and bots and the open platforms that we offer in WebEx Teams and WebEx Meetings. Bots can pull information from various sources on the technology side, such as the network, and link to a ticketing system, such as ServiceNow. On the people side, apps can bring together the relevant stakeholders. Now, the team can start collaborating with relevant information at hand and more quickly get started in solving the problem. So, what exactly does this look like? Let's say an incident is detected, such as a web page being down, or perhaps a sensor is triggered. A bot will create a WebEx Teams space, initiating a ServiceNow ticket to display and update the incident data. The bot can then add in relevant stakeholders to start and continue discussions. Meanwhile, the data gathering process is automated and synced with the ServiceNow platform using the bot in the space. The stakeholders have a view into the network hardware and the application level to see what has been affected. Stakeholders now have the means to quickly devise a resolution strategy. As you can see, processes are automated to help resolve issues more quickly. Now, let's take a deeper look at the underlying technology making this type of workflow possible. REST APIs are common among applications these days. They're important from a Cisco internal development perspective because they allow us to scale across multiple platforms. They are important for our customers because they allow them to build on our platform and integrate into their own processes or workflows. From a technical and developer perspective, an integration with WebEx for developers has a specific meaning. It involves an application that uses the standard OAuth authentication flow to grant a third-party app the ability to read, create, or edit permissions on behalf of the user. An end user would see a consent page showing what permissions that app is requesting. 
This is an example of WebEx Power Pack app requesting permissions, such as read your company directory. The end user clicks accept to grant the permissions. The app is then able to gain insight into the user's platform for doing things such as getting metrics data, as you can see here. Here is the number of total spaces, one-to-one -one spaces, spaces, and team spaces. The app also has the capability to broadcast messages across multiple spaces that the authenticated user is in, since the app has insight into the user's spaces. This is efficient for broadcasting out messages instead of copying and pasting messages into each space. A bot is an account created by an end user in the developer portal. It looks and feels like a WebEx Teams user, but it will have a special bot badge so that users can identify that it's actually not a person. A bot can only see messages in group spaces in which it is mentioned. The functionality of a bot depends on how a developer has configured it. Popular types of bots are a notifier bot updates information in a WebEx team space if something changes on another app. A controller bot works in the opposite direction, allowing the user to make changes on another platform utilizing a bot command. For example, telling a bot to update a ServiceNow ticket. And an assistant bot could understand natural language for an improved user experience. Here you can see a bot that is connected to a JIRA instance allowing us to get issue details for our project. Where do we post these integrations and bots for our users to consume? That would be on the WebEx App Hub. This is a growing collection of apps that have been built on the WebEx platform by both Cisco and our third-party ecosystem. Third parties have the option to advertise their apps on this site. The Hub also includes apps for WebEx teams as well as WebEx meetings. To learn more about how to develop on the platform, go to developer.webex.com. This is the central location for not just the APIs, bots, and integrations, but it will also include things like SDKs and the widgets, and how to submit apps to the WebEx App Hub. It also has information for developer support, developer guides, and is your resource for blog articles and updates on the developer side. Next. Let's cover how we are allowing for embedding collaboration into third-party apps using the messaging and meeting components of WebEx Teams. There are SDKs for iOS, Android, and JavaScript that allows for embedding audio and video calling into custom-built UI applications. If you are a WebEx Teams user, there is no additional cost to leverage these SDKs to create custom experiences for your users. We also offer the ability to have widgets embedded into a web page. Widgets utilize the WebEx Teams UI that our users are already using. Here's a retail example using the iOS SDK. A customer is shopping for new clothes and wants to purchase something, but has questions. The customer can click the support button to launch a voice and video call without ever leaving this custom retail app. The experience is completely customized by the retail app designer, and now there's a more customized and enhanced user-customer experience. Here we have an example of a widget embedded into an app, in this case, Salesforce.com. Customers with the version of Salesforce.com, known as Lightning Experience, are able to develop and embed WebEx Teams widgets, adding essential collaboration tools right inside the Salesforce environment. No more app switching for video calls or messaging. You can reach decisions with the team and get answers fast, right inside of Salesforce. And the widget UI is familiar. It is what you would see on the WebEx Teams client. This outlines the WebEx for Developers components of the WebEx platform. Now your call to action is to go out to each of these sites and familiarize yourself with a handful of bots, integrations, and resources. Using these resources to customize the user experience can really help create stickiness for your customers. Next, we will look at the WebEx Teams APIs for compliance, which were covered in more depth in the compliance section of this module. There are quite a few business challenges associated with compliance. These check marks refer to WebEx Teams' ability to tackle these business challenges via either built solutions in Control Hub or via a partnership. In Control Hub, there is the ability to download content for archival reasons. 
and there is an e-discovery console. The platform itself allows for content retention and working with the APIs and CloudLock. We have a data loss prevention solution. When considering each of these business challenges and needs, they all require access into WebEx Teams data. Maybe customers need to customize their archival mechanism, or they want to use a third-party e-discovery console. And to be able to handle data loss prevention requires insight into data and be able to take remediation steps. These challenges all require visibility into the platform to see messages, spaces, people inside of spaces, and files that are posted. And specifically, for data loss prevention, there are remediation measures that might be taken, such as removing content, messages, or people from spaces. The Events API gives a compliance officer a special role in Control Hub, the ability to gain visibility into the messages and memberships for spaces that are owned by their organization. In order to perform a corrective action, the compliance officer role has the ability to use the existing APIs, but at an organizational level. They can perform a delete message API call. For example, if a credit card number was mistakenly posted in a space that they own. This allows for the remediation required for data loss prevention. Next, let's walk through a specific data loss prevention solution that we offer through Cisco CloudLock. CloudLock connects to WebEx Teams using the Events APIs via an OAuth authentication flow. A compliance officer would grant Cisco CloudLock access to view the WebEx Teams platform for their organization. CloudLock now has the ability to access the events APIs for that particular organization within WebEx. This is an example of how partners, utilizing APIs and CloudLock, have the opportunity to develop specific value-added services helping customers to develop and monitor how content is used within their organization. Next, let's check your knowledge on something we have covered in this module. Within WebEx for Developers, how does a bot help solve problems? By blocking spam, by converting speech to text, by adding automation. The correct answer is C, by adding automation. In this section, we covered WebEx for Developers platform, including API support, workflow integration, bots for WebEx, and WebEx Teams APIs for compliance. Thanks for watching.